Hey guys, Gun Wild here. Um, today for my EDC on a budget, I'm going to bring you a Spider Co knife. This is actually my first real Spider Co. Uh, what I picked up was the Spider Co Resilience. This, oops, box fell on the floor. This knife is a monster. <clears throat> um, I like a big bladed knife and this thing is definitely big. Um, the only thing I can compare this to is the CRKT M16, the large one, or even the, uh, the M21. Uh, this thing is actually bigger than that. Um, this is or has a four and a half inch blade made out of eight CR 13 MOV and it is a flat ground bit blade. This thing is just monstrous. Um, the close length is five and one quarter inches. Overall, we're looking at nine and a half inches. That is a big one. It weighs 5.4 ounces and it has G10 handles. Uh, it, the pocket clip is not on it right now, but it is reversible, tip up, tip down, you know, does all four corners here, on both sides. Uh, it has a skeletonized stainless steel liner. It is a liner lock that has some uh, gripping serrations on it. The top of the blade has some gripping serrations and it, it that the shape of that is very comfortable. Very, your, 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 the thumb feels very comfortable in that uh, little place where you place the thumb. Um, nice big handle, plenty of meat to grab onto. Uh, it does have a lanyard hole and it does have the, uh, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's like a tube that goes all the way through from side to side to put a lanyard in there. Because a lot of knives don't have that. It's just a hole on one side, hole on the other slip your lanyard through and you can see the you know the lanyard through the the back of the spine here uh, as you can see it is an open spine uh, I am very very impressed with this thing I had a uh, a dislike with um, Spyderco it was just, it's just a personal thing, uh, nothing against the company. Uh, they are very well made knives, uh, very sharp, ultra, ultra sharp. I just did not care for the style of the blade. You know, that's just me. I, I like uh, certain kinds of blades and and most of the spider codes I can say I, I didn't care for but this one I actually love this blade shape but the ones that have that more of an arch up here and kind of slope down in here I, I don't care for those uh, so that's why I kind of stayed away from spider co I did have a kiwi uh, thought it was a little too small for any kind of usefulness uh, and you may or may not know this, but I traded it to uh, the Master Knife Collector. He has it now. And uh, he loves it, which I'm glad. I'm glad it has a good home. But uh, getting a hold of this thing just changed my mind about Spyderco. I mean, I still don't care for some of their blade shapes, but this thing, I love this one. This is just a fantastic knife. I uh, picked this up used. Um, another YouTuber was having a sale. And I guess he needed uh, 
I don't know, he's either thinning out his uh, his inventory or he needed money or something. I forget what it was. But I, I bought this for 20 bucks shipped. Uh, you can get these things on Amazon.com for uh, $37.07. And from what he said, he only carried this a couple times. So it, it is in brand new condition. I, uh, I feel like I got a very good or excellent deal with this knife. But, uh, yeah, I need to put the, uh, the pocket clip back on it. Um, yeah, this is a great little knife. I, I am loving it. So, show you how sharp this guy is. Ooh, no effort. Super, super sharp. Okay, so there's the resilience. I wanted to show you the M16. Compare it there. You can see eh, it's roughly, I guess it is about the same exact length. Now that I look at it again, I, th I thought the resilience was about a quarter of an inch longer. But now nah, it uh, looks like it's right on the money the same length. So those of you that know how big the the M16, the, the big M16 is, uh, you know how that now you know how big the resilience is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.